Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today's video is about this little device here. They call it the Goldfinger Field or Golden Field. Basically what it is, you can get it from Amazon and it is a little device that helps you in case you have a desktop case, power button stops working, your HDD LED stops working, maybe a combination of these things. Um, this is going to help you so you don't have to replace that case because maybe you love the case and you just you can't turn it on. This is going to hook up and I'm going to show you how that's done. And even if your case is working but it's far away from you and you just want to be able to turn it on. It's got enough distance on this to be able to put it 47 inches away from your computer. So in some cases you might want to use it just to turn it on and off or to reset it or whatever you want to do. So we're going to get it out of the package. We're going to have a look at everything that comes with it. Then I'm going to show you how to install it and to use it. Here we go. Okay, after we get everything out of the package, now we can see our little device. So you have your power on button, you've got your reset. Okay, pretty much it. That's all you're going to see. So that's kind of cool. And here you have all your connectors. So you're going to have your PLED, positive and negative. All right, so these two ones here. Then you have your HDD LED, your reset, and of course, the final one, which is your power. Okay, so all these will go on to the front panel connectors, the same as if you're connecting it, and you can control everything. All right, now. If you want to have it so that it also goes into the um, case so it doesn't pull on that cable because you don't want these pulling off so that's why they give you this little bracket you put that in the back take your cable once you've got it to whatever length you want it stick it in here you're just going to push it in all right pull it down it's going to hold it in place pretty good use a little screw on the back of your case and you're good to go all right of course, we're not going to use that, but we are going to show you how it goes on. And of course, you've got the little 3M thing here, so you can stick it on here, put it on your desk, wherever you want it, so it stays in place. So, let's get an actual motherboard here. Let's hook it up and show you how that goes about. Connecting them, first I did the front panel, which is the PLED, positive on the left, negative on the right. The one that goes underneath is your HDD LED. So the only ones you got left are your, let me see here, reset, which is going to be on the bottom here, and your HDD LED. Okay, or sorry, your power. So power goes on the top here, just going to put it on. All right, and just slide it in. And you're going to do the same thing with your reset. And just put it on your little pins. And push it down once you got them on there we go so all your cabling is connected now of course we have our power but we're not going to use that we're going to use our little button to make sure everything's working so let's go ahead and do that we're just going to zoom out so you can see everything now of course I'm using my test bench plug everything in here's my little connector so everything's on so we're going to push our little button here so, verifying that it's on, the lights will be on here, and it's on. So, what about doing a reset? So, you get your little reset button right on the front here. Okay, so this is the way it's meant to point. You get a little reset, so let's push it. Okay, so I had to change the uh, reset button. I had pushed it in the wrong place. So, we know it turns on, no problem. And simply pushing the reset button here, okay, that one right there, it'll reset. Okay, so first we have to start it. Okay, you see it turn on, you can hear it. And we'll show you the screen here. Sorry about the background noise, that's the furnace running, unfortunately. Okay, so you can see it coming up. So the only thing left to test is the reset button. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So here's our button again. There's our reset button. We're going to push it. And there we go. So we're resetting our system. Okay, 
And there you go. It's coming up. Everything is good to go. Now, that pretty much is it. So we're done. And instead of pushing and holding the button like you normally would have to do on your uh, desktop, just push it once and it's shutting down. And that is the uh, result of our new button thing working. Our golden field button. I'll put a link in the description so you know where to find it. All right, so this is one more thing I want to show you is just how long that cable is. It's very long. Okay, like I said, 47 inches. Plug this into your motherboard front panel connectors. Got your power reset. Good to go. You can put this anywhere in your desk that you want it to go. Problem solved. So on a test bench, if you don't have the power reset button like I do, and you just want to be able to turn it on and off when you're doing different tests, that might come in pretty handy. Anyway, if you like this video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Think about hitting that bell for future notifications. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Thanks for watching.